Welcome to the demo video of our Client Tracker Spreadsheet. The Client Tracker Spreadsheet has three tabs. One, the first one is a README tab where we'll quickly go over the instructions of the spreadsheet as well provide a link to our instruction guide and our help desk. The second tab is our Client Dashboard where you will easily be able to see the status overview, how many clients you have and add your actual to-do list. And the last step is the Client tracker itself where you can add all the different options of your clients and all the information will then be gathered for you in your client dashboard. Now let's get into how to actually set up your spreadsheet. Using a spreadsheet is very easy. You don't need a lot of experience with Google Sheets and we really try to make it as easy as possible and to take all the hassle out of it so you can just go straight in logging all your clients information and keeping up to date with everything that you need. This Client Tracker spreadsheet will allow you to add up to eight status options as well as 25 different categories for any products or services you offer. Now, this is of course completely optional. You don't have to use all, but we have included as many as we possibly could, so you could customize it to your needs. Now, the status options and the categories are both completely customizable, and all you have to do to customize it is double click on it, delete the text by hitting backspace on your keyboard, and then typing on your own category. So now let's say you own, for example, a service-based business and you wanna keep track of your clients to see if you still need to reach out to your clients, if a follow-up is needed or anything like that. Now, what you can do here is in your status options, add in whatever works for you. Now, for example, let's say you would like to have a status option of follow-up needed. You would like to have a status option that says appointment scheduled you would like to have a status option that say schedule call and lastly let's add another that says no further contact for any clients that you don't want to work anymore with in the future or that uh, the project has simply has finished now that you've changed your status options here and possibly if you also change your categories on the top here you can go ahead and go over to the client dashboard where we can start entering information of the specific clients. If you've updated your categories and your status options, you will find that drop down menus here have updated for you as well. So you can select whatever status option or product or service is applicable to your business. So for example, here we can now see the follow up needed, appointment scheduled, schedule call or no further contact have now been customized. Now, you can simply add your client's information by typing information in, into the field. So let's say we have a client named Sarah Smith. Then you can select the product or service. And these are, of course, at any point, you can update these with whenever you need. Now, you'll see that the status options actually have colors to them. So as soon as you add a status option, it will color specifically to that status option. Now you'll also have an option to include a last update. So you can, for example, check if you need to update this client, if anything needs to be done or when you last had contact with this client. When I add a date, all you have to do is simply double click on the field and a little calendar will pop up where you can enter or select a date. Now to change the date, you can simply double click again and select a new date. In addition, we'll also find a small note section where you can add any other information that you need about your client. Now, you can add as many clients as you need. So if you just enter some information, let's say all your clients are named Smith, you can of course add all the personal details here. You simply add the different categories and you simply add the different status options that you have. Now that you've entered these, when you go back to your overview dashboard, you will see exactly how many clients will need a follow-up, how many still have their appointments scheduled or for how many you need to schedule a call. All these will update automatically for you, as well as all these status or category options for your products and services as well. So you have a quick overview to see exactly of what needs to be done. You also find a small little to-do list here that you can use to add any information to your business or anything that you needs to be done relating to your clients. Now that you've added clients, you also see the total number of clients you have. You will see today's date for a quick, easy to compare to when you've last updated it and you'll be able to manually update your last update yourself by simply again double clicking on it and selecting a new date. This way you can easily see 
when you did something last in your client dashboard, when you need to do another update, you can even add a little note here when you need to do another update. And that is the tutorial of how our client tracker spreadsheet exactly works. If you have any other questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us. I will leave some information down below on how you can get in contact with us. Any questions you might have if either this spreadsheet is for you or any specifics on how the spreadsheet works, just send us a message. Again, thank you for your time and have a great day.